Hi, my name is Carolyn Giancarelli and I'm here with Jackson Bone. Here reporting for the Lobby Observer. Today, Tabish will be speaking with the boys basketball coach Willer about their upcoming season. Then, Yael will speak with Captain Callie Henderson about a recap of the girls' soccer season. On to you, Tabish, with Coach Willer. Hi, this is Tabish Hussein reporting with the Lobby Observer. Here I'm with head coach Varsity Boys Basketball, Coach Willer. Coach, I'd like to start off by asking you a few questions. So, based on previous great seasons, what expectations and goals do you have for this team? Um, well, you know, it's it's a little early to set the goals because the team's not really picked yet. Um, however, what we we always strive for once the team is finally picked, you know, we set one goal every year and it's uh, to make the clock tournament. That's usually first and foremost, make the clock tournament and then win the clock tournament. We might not even have that this year, so we'll be reassessing you know, once the team's picked, whether or not that's going to actually be a goal. But usually that's a goal. Um, this year with the new format, our goal is to obviously still win our league because our league champions, you know, you can still be a league champion. Mm -hmm. And then to be one of the 32 teams that get selected for the Division II statewide tournament. Uh, those would be some immediate goals. However, you know, once the season's picked and we kind of start, you know, talking with guys individually, uh, we'll probably make the goals a little bit uh, more time, you know, more uh, time sensitive and put some more, um, you know, moralistic things on there. But overall, you know, having a positive season, making the clock tournament if they have it, making the playoffs, uh, which you get being a 32 team statewide format this year. Those would be some immediate goals. All right. And uh, now regarding the new statewide, you know, tournament play style, are you looking forward to that? You know, it's going to be a change up definitely in your coaching career. Are you looking forward to that? Kind of, you know, hesitant towards it. What are your feelings? Uh, you know, well, it's like anything that's new. It's kind of, you know, tough to tough to adjust to. Um, but I think it's really, really cool. We're watching it happen in the fall right now, and our teams, you know, are competing against teams they would really almost never compete against. So that's kind of cool for the teams. Uh, the travel is obviously going to be an issue. You're seeing it this fall. Some teams are traveling two hours to get to their games. But I think it's really neat. I am kind of looking forward to it. Um, you know, we've had to adjust our schedule based on that because you make playoffs based off the strength of schedule this year. So some of the past teams that wanted to play us, the Wachusets, the you know Lemonsters, they don't want to play us now because they'd, they'd be playing down a level for them. So we've had to go out and you know basically recruit a very um, very competitive schedule, and which we've done. You know we opened up with Hawkington, who's a Division One school. We're playing Concord Carlisle, who's a you know regional school. We picked up Medway, who's generally one of the better teams in D three. That's playing down for us level wise, but competition it's good for us. So it's going to be interesting to see because. Like I said, teams, some teams are still playing their lower schedules, um, but we're going the other way. We're trying to play up every game we can to get as many points as we can. So um, I'm looking forward to it in that regard. It is going to be different not having district play and not playing some teams that you're familiar with, but like anything that's new, um, we're going to embrace it. We're going to get after it, and um, you know we'd like to be the first team to win the statewide D2 bracket. That's really something we'd like to do. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, who are some key players that will you know be a big help for the team this upcoming season? Um, so we, you know, we uh, return a handful of seniors who uh, got some got some good experience last year. However, it was a COVID season, so it wasn't in an environment where there was a full gym. Yeah. Um, it wasn't in a playoff environment. It was you know just by ourselves, no fans. Um, so that that's going to be a challenge for my kids that were on the team last year. Um, but they also, I think, are ready. They played a ton, and you know that's the seniors. You know, Tavi Hussein. You know, Tavi right here is obviously. We're looking for him to have a good season for us. Taylor Fredman should have a great season for us. You know, Aiden Larkin, Rohan, uh, Nick Boyd, Theo, and then some some of the younger guys. You know, we're hoping that Andrew Gray can really step up. Uh, James Braden is a great shooter. You know, hopefully he can help us. Um, there's a few other kids. You know, Brady Hughes. You know, should hopefully have an impact for us. And quite honestly, there's a handful of freshmen that are really, really good. And I'm looking forward to see how they shake on tryouts. So uh, the competition is going to be uh, fierce, but I think that's that's what makes successful teams is when you you know you have to compete every day for your spot. So, um, but that senior that core of seniors, we're looking at them to be the leaders of the team this year. Hundred percent. So you know, what is one tradition now that you know the COVID restrictions have kind of laid off a little bit that you want to bring back to the team? Uh, well, you know, we we didn't get to practice at all last year on Saturdays, um, and that's the first time in my since I've been coaching is in 2005 that we haven't been able to have Saturday practices. Um, and our Saturday practices in the past have been um, pretty fun because we will do like some dodgeball, some team building. We do a lot of yoga, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of stretching to, you know, after a Friday night game, we come in and do some yoga work. Uh, so those things we're hoping to get back. But we also do, th you know, off-court stuff. We usually 
take a trip into Worcester at least once a year to go see like either Holy Cross or Clark University or WPI game. So we take a game in like that usually, and then we start by heading over to Coney Island, which is the hot dog spot in Worcester. Um, something that we really, really, we do it every year. So I'm hoping to get that, something like that again this year. And you know, we've in the past, we've run some, you know, like uh, one day clinics for the, for the kids around the holiday time. And we usually just have the parents, they can either come give us, you know, monetary donations or we ask for canned goods. And then we take those, all the donations we get. And I usually take the seniors down to the food bank and we actually hand deliver them. And um, that's been really, really neat. It's a rewarding experience for everyone involved. So I'm hoping we get those, uh, some of those traditions back this year. Absolutely. And, and finally, uh, in speaking in regards to our like opponents this year, who do you think will be our like toughest matchup or our biggest matchup in, for the season? Uh, well, that's a great question because like I said, I mean, we open up with Hopkinton um, and I know they're not a league opponent, but they, they beat our JV by about 70 points last year. Right, and, um, and those kids that they beat are still on the team now they're with us, so that's one that we're looking forward to right away, especially Coach Keen being a friend of ours as well, a rival of ours, so we're definitely looking forward to that one. Um, Oakmont's on the schedule now. Oakmont's uh, very well coached. Um, you know, we've coached against them in the past when the coaches at Neshoba and then Fitchburg, um, and they've got tons of talent. They're loaded with talent, so they're going to be good. Honestly, almost every, every game we're going to play. You know, Shrewsbury, we play up to Shrewsbury D1. We play Algonquin to the D1 school, um, and the teams that we picked that are new, like I said, you know, Conquer Carlisle's, the Medways. So I think every team, every game's gonna be a battle. Um, and then if you look back into the league a little bit more, like Neshoba, Neshoba, I think is coming in, is gonna be one of the top dogs. They've got uh, four of their starting five returning. Um, three of those kids are probably gonna play college basketball. Um, but, you know, we've got a really good chance to. So so they're gonna give us a good test, but honestly, it's it's every game, and that's that's the fun part of it, you know. you know scouting the other team, knowing what they're going to try to do, trying to figure out a way to take that away, and then, you know, just doing what we do, you know, running our offense, being disciplined, you know, just working as a team. And every game when you play mid-watch A, B basketball is a battle. So yeah. I just look forward to, you know, the challenge of competing every Tuesday and Friday night and having fans back in the stands watching us, cheering us on, and, you know, playing playing for the town. So, um, like I said, every game is going to be competitive. It's going to be a challenge. Yep, absolutely. And once again, I'm with Coach Willer. And thank you, Coach. Have a great season this year. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, Coach Willer. It was great to hear about the upcoming season. Best of luck to you and the rest of the team. Now on to Yael with Captain Callie Henderson on the girls' soccer season recap. On to you, Yael. Hi, my name is Yael Bugayev, and I'm here with Captain of the girls' soccer team, Callie Henderson, here reporting with the Lobby Observer. So, Callie, how do you think the high school season went overall? Um, so I thought this season went great. Uh, there's no other way I wanted it to go. I'm so happy that it was my senior year, and I've been part of the program for four years, and this year was the year I made it the furthest. We made it to the semifinals, and so <laughs> that was a perfect way to go out this year, and our team chemistry was awesome, and I loved all the girls I was playing with, and so I had a great season this year. What was your favorite part about the high school season? Um, so my favorite part about high school season and to have so much success. I'm Jackson Bond here with Carolyn Jancarelli signing off with the Lobby Observer.